Thank you, Anne. And Barbie is very generous and she thinks about other people. Well, that pool is cold as fuck. And it's windy as hell outside. Nothing y'all can say will make me believe that Barbie is not my friend. What are you talking about, kick my asshole? Barbie stay here with me and my friend. Oh. No, I didn't go. Yeah, Barbie was just trying to have us get over it and get back to being a fun time. She doesn't want it to be dramatic and weird and thick atmosphere. <clears throat> Yeah, and Barbie is in the middle. Exactly, Miss Lovely. Y'all can call me desperate all y'all want. Barbie is a good person and she's a good friend. Barbie always laughs, and she apologized to me for laughing. Okay, Jenny. She said that. She said she doesn't know what to do.
Thank you, Mr. Bob. Exactly, babe. All the relationships on Beagle, people on Beagle want to see end. Three, did you even see three people in the pig? Since y'all know everything, we wasn't even in me and Kana in bed. Me and Barbie was in the guest room. She slept there, or actually, she slept on the motherfucking couch. And when I went to wake her up and tell her to go upstairs, because they was coming to hang my fucking artwork in the living room, I was like, they're going to be down here in a minute. You go upstairs to the guest room. And she went up there. And then when she woke up, I was like, Barbie, good morning. And I went in there and laid in the bed with her. And I said, I'm going to take a picture and put it in the chat. She said, wait, wait, wait. Took her shirt off because she knew motherfuckers was going to run with it. And did. I was like, you want to show your nipples? She was like, I don't give a fuck. Boom. Picture posted. And look. Look at what happened. Here y'all go. She my girl. I don't eat her pussy. We don't make out. She my girl. Shit blessed, why not? Isn't that a better question? Thank you. People can assume whatever. And I don't, I see, I'm the type of bitch who, when I'm cool with, it, with, with a girl, I don't have a problem with her seeing me naked. I show Barbie Montini's my first, her first time at my house. She was trying to dress me in her little outfits. I said, bitch, these titties cannot go braless. They cannot go braless. And I showed her my titties. My long ass deflated skinny girl titties that used to be fat when I was fat and now they not. <laughs> and I don't like that shit. I might give me some gummy bear implants. <clears throat> I told my mama that. And she said she used to want implants after she had me and my sister because we sucked the life out of her titties. But then her doctor said her titties were great compared to some of the ugly ass tits he's seen. And she was like, well, that makes me feel better. <laughs> and I done seen some ugly tits too. Yeah, yeah, Jazz. I could have did way better on them, them ribs. He don't listen though. He just don't listen. I could have did way better. I done grilled some good ribs. Now, I done burnt some ribs before, too. Because I went upstairs and left them down there. And I should have came back. Yeah, they don't. They don't listen, Jesus. Yeah, ribs supposed to be cooked low and slow. Like I told his ass. I know, Jazz. Y'all, Jasmine came over when I had made steak. I made uh, Brussels sprouts, hot dogs, um, carrots on the grill. Shit, we had I feel like we had seafood too. Did we? Or, I don't even fucking remember. I, I made a, I made everything in the fridge because it was the day before I started my diet. Before I lost all this weight, and I first did that three day fast, and then I was only eating liquids for like a month, just soup and shakes. So I was like, "Hey, y'all, come through." And Jasmine was in town. I got to meet her beautiful ass. And Honey V bitch ass came over with her two bitch ass friends. And we all had so much fun. So I thought till till Honey V decided she was gonna tell everybody I was fake, phony, and and that the vibe was weird. Even though the next day the bitch asked me, could she come back and spend the night next time? And this time she wasn't gonna bring her friends because she felt like her friends ruined the vibe. Like bitch. Cloud chasing ass, weird ass bitch. Mm -hmm. 
That was so weird. She's so weird. Thank you. Well, Busy Bella, I had a, a coach who formulated my diet for me, and she charged me $1,000 a month. And I paid her September, October, and November. So I know I don't really want to give y'all all my diet for free. I pay so much motherfucking money, and I feel like none of y'all are really going to stick to it anyway unless you pay $1,000, right? Because that's what really made me stick to that shit. I did exactly what the fuck she told me to do. The workouts. She told me to go to fuck to sleep at 11 o'clock at night. I was like, all right, coach, you got it. Shit, I'm paying your ass. <laughs> I better do what the fuck I'm paying for or else I'm not going to see the results and I'm going to waste my money. So I felt she couldn't believe how easy it was to coach me. She thought she was going to have to hound me to go do my workouts and shit. Uh-uh. No. I said, um, yeah, I'll 